everyone, my name is Hilary Schefter and I'm the principal harpist of the Arapaho Philharmonic. I first saw harp when I was five years old and it was just out at a social function with my parents, you know, obviously. And I remember seeing this lady play the harp and hearing the sounds and thinking it was the neatest thing I'd ever seen and heard and it was like unlike anything I'd ever heard, which is not saying much for a five-year-old, but still, I was absolutely transfixed and I told my mom I wanted to play harp, apparently, for the next three years. I don't remember bothering her, but she describes it as me bothering her, uh, until she finally found a harp to rent and a harp teacher, and I started taking lessons, and I was like, I'm gonna go to music school, like, day one, and that's what I did. So it was kind of a whole by chance, serendipitous thing that happened. A lot of people ask me whether it's like a piano kind of turned up on its side. Yes and no. Because uh, obviously they look inside a piano, like a grand piano, and they notice the neck shape kind of looks the same, uh, and also that there's strings on the inside. It's a little bit different, so unlike piano, we actually never use our pinkies. This is something a lot of people don't know. But yeah, harpists never use our pinkies. They just hang out with our other finger on the end there. They just kind of follow along doing whatever they do. They don't have their own identity, unfortunately. Uh, so, that said, our, we're limited with the amount of um, chords that we can play, the notes in a chord. So, whereas a pianist can play ten, because you've got ten fingers on both hands, we are down to eight. And this is how we play with the harp connected always to our right shoulder. So, it never goes on the left, it doesn't matter whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it's always on the right shoulder. As far as playing the actual instrument, again, we only use eight of our ten fingers, we never use our pinkies. And basically, there was a big changeover in the 1800s with a guy named Boxa. that was his last name. Very, very famous in the harp world for modernizing harp technique. He said, oh, what if we put our thumbs up, point the rest of our fingers down? We'll lose pinkies because they're a lot shorter you know, than the rest of our fingers, so we are not really able to get them on with everybody else. But we, what we lose with the one finger, we gain in the mobility of our opposable thumbs. So that's where the idea of turns comes in really handy. That's where you get a lot of arpeggios from, a lot of descending arpeggios, a lot of things like that, because he changed our technique so that we have thumbs up, everybody else is kind of lower, and we actually play this instrument, uh, at least this version, on the pads of our fingers. So we are actually having direct contact with the string, with our fingers. What you'll see in most of Western music and what you'll see in orchestras, it's always done with direct connection with my fingers on the strings. So I do develop calluses, and that's okay, it just makes me tough. Yeah. <laughs> The harp is very ancient, mentioned in the Bible, one of the oldest instruments, you know, along with the trumpet and the drums and some other things like that. So there's always this connotation, too, of kind of this angelic, you know, existence of the harp. And we're known for a lot of things that we call glissandi. Uh, it's an Italian term, and basically it just means these glorious... artistic, very dramatic, and it's actually made possible by the way that the harp, at least in its current form, uh, is designed. The most uh, recent harp, like the one you've probably seen in orchestras and like in the pit for if you ever go to the Nutcracker Ballet, um, is going to be this version. We call it the Concert Grand, and it's called a double action pedal harp, meaning I've got a bunch of pedals down here. So this is where we differ from the piano. I have one pedal for every individual note of the octave, meaning I have a C pedal. That controls all the Cs, a D pedal, and on up the line. I have one for every one, and then of course it repeats because I have octaves, right? So I get to the end there. And not only that, there's three notches per pedal. So I have one for flat, one for natural, one for sharp. You can also do things like pedal slides. There's a fun one. And you'll
you'll see a lot of like that movement of a harpist like in an orchestra if you're watching really carefully. There's a lot of foot motion going on because I'm changing what key I'm in a lot of times or I have to adapt to what I'm playing next. Um, so that's a kind of a constant thing that we're doing. People are really surprised by the amount of footwork going on normally, but there's a lot behind the scenes. I read about it once and they said there's over like 21,000 combinations of uh, pedal configurations that you can have with harps, so it's pretty complicated, uh, but it's still pretty awesome. For me personally, right, I'm attracted to the harp because of the sound. It's the thing that's transfixed me since I was a young child, right? I just I think there's nothing else like it. I think it's ethereal and it's vibrant and it has this sound quality that you can't really find anywhere else. I love playing in ensembles. The orchestra has kind of always been my thing since I was in about middle school. I kind of knew I wanted to play in an orchestra. Uh, it's really making music with other people that um, it's just magical. Like it really is magic. It's a language that transcends all other languages. And that's what I really like to bring to it, is that uh, you know, I get to feel like my individual voice and my chosen instrument is kind of blending with everybody else's, if I do my job right, right? Uh, to create like, something just so beautiful that was in someone's mind, you know, that they put on paper, and here we are creating it, and it's this beautiful soundscape, and really every time you perform, it's gonna be different and unique. We get to create something magical, like every time we perform. So that's kind of what keeps me going.